We have a goodie today, don't we? Don't do we? we? I don't know. Don't we? <laughs> we, we always, always do. do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jinx. Jinx. You owe Jinx. me a Coke. You owe me a Coke. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Tissom. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food, and then in a food review, you're in the right place. Sit back, grab yourself some spring rolls, press that subscribe button, and enjoy this episode. Where are we at today? Today we are at Viet Family. This is a new restaurant. Well, it's not a new restaurant. It was around before, before it used to serve meat, but just recently changed their menu, and now they are completely vegan, which is an awesome awesome thing yeah i love it when they switch over to being vegan give it up give it up for weird family thank you location where is that via family is on commercial drive commercial drive is a very famous street and neighborhood in vancouver lots and lots of restaurants and residential and shops it's a very very busy lively area a lot of italian restaurants and bars and businesses it's definitely italian neighborhood isn't it? i think traditionally yeah but now it's so eclectic yeah yeah that's true but it's not I'm, I'm portuguese actually yeah all right let's talk about interior what do you think of interior pretty simple a small space yeah a few you know larger tables and smaller tables very casual Let's talk about the food we got. We started with spring rolls. I think it was called veggie roll on the menu. And as a main dish, I got the lemongrass chicken. And you got? I got the beef pho. Beef pho. You always get the pho. I always, because that's a good measure of a Vietnamese restaurant. Is that how you, is that how that's you go? That's what I think. All right, fair enough, all right, fair enough. Let's start with the spring roll. What do you think? a Vietnamese restaurant. I think they should have Vietnamese spring rolls, which is my favorite type of spring roll. That's why I was looking forward to the spring rolls today, but no. They were like, Chinese style spring rolls, which I don't really like. So, I didn't like it as much as Amir, probably, and it was a little bit oily. But the sauce that it came in with was pretty good. Mm -hmm. What did you think? Spring rolls are one of my favorite foods. You know that, right? It's one of my favorite dishes. I could have a big bowl of spring rolls all to my head. And all to your head? Yeah. Just like... What kind of expression is that though? All to your head? Did cool. you just make it up? Cool okay. kids. Cool kids. Eh? Doesn't matter if it's Vietnamese, if it's Chinese, if it's Thai. Taiwanese, Thai. Thai. I like it all. This one was all right. It wasn't one of the best spring rolls I've ever had. Like you said, it was a little bit oily, but overall, decent spring roll. <laughs> Should we do it? Yeah. One, one two, two, three. three. Lemongrass chicken is one of my favorite Vietnamese dishes. I normally get it if I have the option. And I tried it this time here. And it had bok choy. It was one of the main ingredients. And I'm not a big bok choy fan, but I was like, hey, you know what? I'm a grown ass man. I'm going to have some bok choy in my dish. I'm not going to take it out. And the bok choy wasn't that bad. The chicken was good. I'm not sure what kind of a... I think it was a happy veggie world. You think so? I think so. It could have been. It could have been. It tasted pretty good. They had onions in it. The onions were pretty good. It had big chili pieces, but I think it could have been a bit more spicier. But overall, I enjoyed it. What do you think of it? It did come in a cute little clay pot thing. Mm -hmm. When you uncovered it and I saw all the bok choy, because it's surrounded by bok choy, it's a very prominent part of the dish. It's not just like an extra added thing. I was like, mm. oh no, Amir's not going to like it. But he ate all of it. I was impressed. I thought the dish was pretty good. The presentation was cute. The chicken, I think, like I said, is from Happy Veggie World. So we've had that a lot of times. So to me, it was good, but I feel like even you could make that, something like that at home. Hmm. Can, I, can I add something to that? Earlier when I said, you know, 
I'm a grown ass man and I'm gonna have some bok choy. I wasn't being completely honest. I did ask them if they could substitute it with broccoli or something, but they said they don't have broccoli and they offered to take it out. And I'm glad I didn't because like you said, it was a big part of the dish and without it, it would have been not enough food and very little food and it would have been, would have made no sense for, <laughs> for the price really, right? So I'm glad I didn't. One, two, three. Boom. I give it a four too. What do you think of your four? So this was a beef pho. There is a difference. They have regular and beef. Beef had some imitation beef in it, along with tofu and some mushrooms. And they don't use the thin pho noodles. They use like really thick, wide rice noodles, which I always find so hard to eat, so hard to pick up. They're so slippery no matter what I use. So. That was really annoying to eat with. Broth was pretty good. I still think a little bit on the oily side, and it also came with bok choy. It was an okay pho. I've had better pho. And would I order again? I'd try something else. If you're a recurring viewer, you know that I'm not a big fan of pho. I find pho to be always bland and flavorless and this one did not fail. It was also a little bit flavorless and bland. I didn't dig it. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm normally not a big Fall fan, so don't tell you, listen, I am who I am, you know? I'm not gonna apologize for it. Four isn't for me. That's okay, if it's for you, that's okay. You do you, baby. One, two, two. three. You even need three too? Yeah. What the heck? Anyways. That's what we think. You guys go try it out for yourself. And as always, let us know what you think in the comments. Would you go back to Viet family and dine again? Well, I mean, I'm glad that it's a new vegan addition to commercial because there actually aren't a lot of 100% vegan places on commercial drive, which is surprising. Mm, I don't know if I would go back just because there's other Vietnamese vegan places that I like better. And we don't go to commercial that often. So I don't think I'd especially make a trip over there to have Vietnamese mm -hmm. vegan food. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, I think I'd like to go back. They had a dish that was ch eggplant chicken, mm -hmm. which I considered getting today, but I didn't. But that sounds really good as well. I'd like to try that and see how that one goes. So yeah, I would I would definitely go back. I want to try their laksa and their coffee too. So we're going back. <laughs> I forgot. We're coming back. If you enjoyed this episode and you like the kind of videos we do, do yourself a favor, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. Because if you do, that would be tragic. It'd be sad, you won't be entertained, you won't know about all these awesome vegan restaurants and vegan food, you won't laugh, you won't see this beautiful lady, you won't see this gorgeous dude, and it'd be bad for everybody. Take a look at this episode on Amir's face. It's the most handsomest face, most gorgeous smile ever but you can't see it it's blocked by the video <laughs> yeah thank you for watching thank you for watching